Hi, my name is Joanne Kennedy and I'm a naturopath in Sydney, Australia, and I specialize in methylation and histamine intolerance. In this video, I'm going to discuss the interesting link between histamine and estrogen and how copper is involved in this as well. Okay, so a lot of people with histamine intolerance have heard about the Dow enzyme as that breaks histamine down in the gut and one of its cofactors is copper. So a lot of people think that supplementing with copper is going to give them a lot of benefit. It's going to support the functioning of the Dow enzyme. Okay, but particularly for women, this is often a problem. And this is because high histamine is going to drive high estrogen. Okay, so histamine stimulates the ovaries to release estrogen. It, it's meant to do that. But when histamine's high, you'll have an excess production of estrogen. And then estrogen will cause mast cells to release histamine. So this is a really, really vicious cycle. Okay, so what you will find is that supplementing with copper is not a good idea because estrogen increases copper. Okay, so you potentially, if you're a woman with estrogen dominance and histamine issues, you potentially have high copper. And the problem with high copper is that it competes with absorption of zinc. So if your copper's high, you can't absorb your zinc, okay? And without zinc, you have problems making hydrochloric acid. And without hydrochloric acid, your gut is exposed because hydrochloric acid is very antimicrobial. Uh, you can develop SIBO due to the issues that um, low hydrochloric acid will cause with issues with other digestive enzymes being released at the appropriate time. That will cause an, a more acidic environment in the small bowel, which is a breeding ground for SIBO bacteria. And SIBO is a major cause of histamine intolerance in the first place. Okay, and you also can't heal your gut without zinc. Okay, so if you are a woman suffering from estrogen dominance and histamine intolerance, then taking copper is probably not going to help your Dow enzyme at all. Okay, so we need to be reducing the things that will impact Dow enzyme. Okay, the reduction of Dow enzyme, which is you need to fix the gut issues. And you need to also work on estrogen detoxification at the same time. Thank you.